What's going down? Thor Basement Boy Banner, Levi Basement Boy Banner. Um, we're back. We're gonna do something we haven't done in a long time. We're gonna review a movie. We don't do we don't do many movie reviews on the Basement Boy Banner channel anymore, do we? No, we yeah. don't. Uh, but special times, special circumstances, let let us hear. So we're gonna call this Thor's Thoughts, I guess, featuring Levi. Review of the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, right? So. If you watched episode 139, you saw that we hadn't seen the Sonic movie a couple days ago. Well, things change. We got the opportunity to see the Sonic movie, which was awesome. Um, And then Levi said we should shoot a video and talk about it. So I was like, let's do that. So why don't you kick it off? How did you like the Sonic movie? Um, 10. It was a 10? 10 out of 10? What, What was your favorite part? Um, the whole movie. The whole movie. Great. Awesome. That's very specific. Very specific. So did you like, um, did you like Jim Carrey in the movie as Dr. Robotnik, Dr. Eggman? But what did you say when you saw him? He looks different, right? Than the cartoon? Because you're used to seeing the cartoon version, like the big round guy who looks like an egg. Yep. He's on your shirt right there. Yep. So Levi rocking the, the old school Sonic X shirt. It's a pretty dope t-shirt. Um, last night you didn't give it a 10 out of 10, though. Last night you gave it a 1 out of 10. Now I'm 10, 10. And now it's 10 out of 10? Okay. 10 out of 10. Okay. You like the Sonic movie 10 out of 10? Mm-hmm. Because he's super fast? I don't know why he's super fast. Because he's got special powers? Sonic was reading the Flash comic books in the movie, wasn't he? That was pretty cool, right? Because he was kind of addicted to Earth culture. Because he came to Earth from his, like, island that had all the loop-de-loops and all the, you know, areas. Because some tribe was trying to take him and get his power. Mm-hmm. So he came to Earth. And then he spied on the people of that town, right? Well, Sonic is really fast because he has superpowers. Yeah. But Dr. Robotnik has the power. Well, has the has Sonic power? Because yeah. he got the the hair right, the, the the quill as they call it, and he used that to power his robots. His robots are pretty cool. That one robot that kept getting destroyed, and then a littler robot would come out of it, and then it get destroyed, and a littler robot would come out of it. Remember that? All the way down to the tiny one that like cut off the top of the car. That was pretty cool. The bar scene. They had two scenes in this movie that I thought were were done. Really well. They're pretty much the, uh, it's pretty much just a rehash of the Quicksilver stuff from um, the X-Men movies, right? Where they do almost like a a bullet time or whatever. So everything's moving slow except Sonic when he moves like ultra, ultra fast. And then he can go through and he can move everything. They did it in the bar fight and they did it in the- Because you have a ring and you can go to different places to Earth. Like, Like to Justice League. Like to Justice League? Well, I don't know if he can travel there, but the rings enable him to travel any place that he can picture in his mind. So as long as the place he's seen or that exists, he can throw out one of his magical rings, and, and that's how he gets there. But Really he, fast. Mm-hmm. It's and fast, he, though. Yep. Got to go fast. So it was good. I mean, it was a good movie. I enjoyed it as like a video game movie. It was definitely, you know, upper echelon of video game movies, which isn't a pantheon of excellence by any stretch of the imagination, because but it was a wings, solid movie. The wings can get shot at you right now. Yeah. He yeah. Even like he went to, to Cairo and he went, remember he was throwing the rings. <coughs> oh, bless you. He was throwing the rings and he was going to all those different places. Yeah. And then Robotnik was chasing him and shooting everything. And he like blew up the pyramids of Giza and, like all those other places. Because at the end, there was like a lot of uh, like episodes. Because there's so many. I think like the Sonic movie is like longer than the um the Spider-Man movie, the Amazing Spider-Man movie. No, it's not longer. Sonic was about thirty minutes shorter than the Amazing Spider-Man movie. What's the Amazing Spider-Man movie? Two hours and like sixteen minutes. 16 minutes. Where, Sp- where Sonic is only like an hour 39. 39. So did you like how Tails showed up in the post credit scene? Yeah, but I didn't like it when, when, when like, Tails was not fighting. When Tails wasn't there? Mm-hmm. Were you mad that other characters weren't there? Who else, who else did you want to be in the movie that wasn't? I want Shadow to be in the Shadow movie. Shadow and Knuckles? Yeah. 
And Amy and, and Tails. And Tails, because you like the Sonic X cartoon. You've been watching that on Netflix. So that's that goes back to if you watch episode 139, we're talking about the Sonic verse. So every iteration of Sonic is a different universe. But- um, the the new movie is going to be Tails. Then so it's the going to sec- be Knuckles. You mean the second movie? You think in the second movie they'll introduce like Tails and Knuckles and all those people? No, not Knuckles. Knuckles is going to be there. Knuckles is going to be there. Then Amy. And there's Doctor Robotnik. Then there's going to be Shadow. Well, they sent Robotnik to the Mushroom Planet that Sonic was supposed to go to. So in the beginning, he's got this owl teacher who's like, never get caught, always keep running. And he he ends up on Earth for like a decade or so and like likes it here, doesn't want to leave. He's supposed to leave and go to this mushroom place if he's ever found out. But they end Mm -hmm. up sending Dr. Robotnik to the mushroom place at the end of the movie with when Sonic finally does his super smash where he charges up as a ball and like smashes into the... um, yeah, it into was the cool. plane. Yeah, but it didn't even hurt him. No, well, because he's like he's really powerful. I mean, in the beginning of the movie, the whole reason Robotnik even gets called in is he's like a government agent. He he uses power. Yeah. Not to run away from him, he uses power to, to protect his friends. That's right. He did. That's exactly what he said. Yep. He's not going to use his power to run anymore. He's going to use his power to protect his friends. That's what heroes do, right? Be- yeah, but if someone shoots like a thing. He won't get hurt. Right, because he's so fast. But he can, like, dodge it, or, like, or he can, like, block it. Yep. Or, or he can get hurt. Well, he'd, like, he'd move people out of the way of danger and stuff when he'd go into that, like, bullet time sequences. You know, the bar fight was really cool how they did that one. I really, it's I really It's dangerous when you push someone, like, off the building. It is dangerous when you push someone off a building. That's a 100% accurate statement. Yeah, be it it's mean. It is, it is mean, but he did it to save their lives. Sonic, at one point, has to push Donut Lord and uh, the girl off the bri- or off the building to save them from Dr. Robotnik's robots, right? Yep. And he throws the ring, and they go back to that uh, the town where they're from or whatever. So The green? The green? Yeah. Hill? The green hill? Yeah. Green hills or something like that? Green hills, yeah. Yeah, maybe it's called green hills. I don't remember. It's I don't remember hills. the name of the town, but I it's mean, Green Hills. I thought it was an alright movie. I didn't love Robotnik. I didn't love Carrie's portrayal I of love Robotnik. Sonic in it. Sonic was good. And Sonic was good. I mean, doing the re um, redesign but of the character the movie, paid off. In the movie, yeah. Um, um, Tails voice sounds different, really different than the cartoon. Well, yeah. I mean, he should because they have different a- voice actors voicing him. Because be. And and Sonic. Sonic sounds different too. Yeah, because they have different voice actors. Those aren't the same voice actors from Sonic X that are doing the movie. Shadows do not in Sonic X. Shadows not. No, no, no. Shadows in Sonic X. He's just not in the movie. But I didn't. I didn't really love the Jim. The Jim Carrey. I never Robotnik. seen Shadow in Sonic X. Well, he's there at some point. You, you haven't watched the whole series either, so you got to watch all all of them. But Carrie was kind of over the top at points, and some of it was funny, but most of it really fell flat for me. Uh, just, I don't know if it was the delivery or some of the lines, and just, it did not. Sha- eh. Shadows in the, um, um, the movie. In what movie? The Sonic movie. Shadow was not in the Sonic movie. Well, he is going to. Oh, he's going to be in the Sonic movie? We will see. So they're definitely going to do a second one with that post credit scene introducing Tails. But, which is weird because Tails comes in with this like thing tracking Sonic and he's looking for him. But in the beginning... Why, why Tails tracking him? Well, that's, that's a good question that they'll have to answer for the second movie because the Owl Lady in the beginning, never they never showed any other people but the Owl Lady and Sonic that lived on the island. So if all these other people lived on the island with Sonic, they never even introduced that concept until this post credit scene where all of a sudden Tails shows up looking for him. I mean, not a big deal. Why? I mean, you can, I, that's what I'm saying. I don't know why. Maybe he wants to be his friend. Oh, and she, like, he, like, tracked them. Oh, he got lost. Yeah, something like that. But, I mean, you were... Oh, I, I know. Okay. Because he got lost. Because he got lost? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe they need Sonic for something even bigger, you know? But Robotnik still had the hair, or still had the quill. He still had the power, even when he got stuck on the mushroom planet. 
So, and then he looked all crazy because he shaved his head and then he had the bigger mustache. He actually looked more like the comic book or not the comic book, but like the animated one, the video mm-hmm. game Robotnik, just not big and round. But mm-hmm. that was, you know, that was all right. And where they're going with it, I think could be really cool. But it for me, it was a fine movie. He was enthralled for the whole time. I mean, he was locked in, which you know what? is unusual when, for when him. When the movie was like over, I'll like play Sonic. Oh, yeah. When the movie was over, you ran around the house like Sonic for at least 35 minutes while we tried to get you to go to bed. Yep. It was a lot of fun. It was a great time. Um, but no, I, I like the movie. I mean, for me, it was, you know, could it have been better? Yes. Could it have been worse? Yes. Did all the jokes hit? Did all the dialogue hit? No. Yeah. But the dialogue was like sweet. The dialogue was sweet? What dialogue mean? That's like the words they say in the script. Like what the things they say in the movie. Yeah. Some of it was all right. Most of it was eh, but overall, like it was a enjoyable movie. To sit down and watch with the family, it was a good movie. And you can't say that but all about a lot of comic wasn't book, the or robots, a lot like of the video ro- game movies. Like like the guys who like Remember in Sonic X, there was like, like, those like, like, those like, like weird, like robots. Like his robot helper guys? Like his robot minions are you talking about? No, most of his robots were just egg-shaped robots. And then they even had to throw in the Dr. Uh, Dr. Eggman or whatever line at one point. Sonic says to Robotnik. Which was fine. I mean, it, it yeah, didn't it seem forced. It was just put in there. But like I said, I liked the movie for what it was. Um, watch it again if he wanted to, sure. But I'm not going to go on my own. We could own watch and re-watch it again it. today. Definitely not. Or work tomorrow. Maybe some other time during quarantine. But <gasps> on so Wednesday. On Wednesday. Maybe on Wednesday. So out of no, out Thursday? of ten rings, so between Thursday. one ring and ten rings, you're mm-hmm. going to give it how many rings? A hundred rings? A hundred rings. All right. Blew it out of the water. Even though you said it could have been a lot better if they would have had, like, all the other characters in it, right? Yeah. That was his biggest complaint when he got done watching the movie last night is that Tails was only in it for a minute. Knuckles wasn't in it. Shadow wasn't in it. Amy wasn't in it. Pretty much that all the other characters weren't there. It was just Sonic. But that was all right. It was still good. It's worth it's worth checking out. If you get a chance to watch it, go watch it. Um, I was not overly impressed, but I wasn't disappointed either. So I mean, not disappointed, but I was like, I was staying up and I wouldn't even like close my eyes. You didn't. You were locked in. You really enjoyed it. So for his age, great. You know, for my age, I enjoyed it. Like I said, um, just me too. I enjoyed it too. You enjoyed it too. Yeah, it's just kind of like a buddy story of like Sonic and the Donut Lord yeah. guy. Yeah. Do you know what? Traveling um, to San Francisco um, to get the ring. When like when like the Sonic movie is like here, yeah, that doesn't mean we can't watch it because we're at home. Right. Exactly. Exactly. We we can't just like go to like a movie theater. No, nope, movie theaters are closed. But when the sickness is gone, we can um go to a movie. Theater. When the sickness is gone, we'll definitely go back to the movie theaters. For sure, but um, the Sonic movie will still be um 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 on a TV. Um, yep, it will still be on the TV. Yep, because it'll come out by then. I just want to see how you know how long this goes, really. But as for Sonic, um, two thumbs up, right? Hundred, yeah. hundred rings. No, 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 a hundred thumbs up. A hundred thumbs no, up. A zillion. I mean, a jillion. A, a jillion. A jillion. Thumbs up. All right. So, should we wrap? Yep. All right. Till the next video. Like, share, and subscribe. Deuces. That was fun. Wait, Bubba.